Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about absinthe, also known as La Vie Verte, or the Green Fairy. Now to quickly get some of this out of the way, absinthe does not cause you to hallucinate. That was just some propaganda made up to help prohibit it. One of the main reasons that it became illegal in France and then eventually to the US was the French bohemian lifestyle that was going around that time. People were getting just a little too turned. The absinthe that I will be drinking today is just a mere 110 proof. They're known to get up to the 120 region. So, it's definitely stronger than, say, a regular shot of vodka. Contrary to popular belief, there should not be any fire involved with making the proper absinthe drink. That was merely a marketing ploy. If anything, it's wasting your alcohol and making it taste, perhaps, bad. In this video today, we're going to show you the proper classic way to make the regular glass of absinthe, or the absinthe cocktail, and one of Ernest Hemingway's favorite drinks, Death in the Afternoon. And heads up now, in case I forget to mention it later, the fun visual effect that it will make in the glass is called the louche. Now let's go fly away with the green fairy. Alright, so for the regular absinthe cocktail, we're going to hit and take a shot of absinthe and then put it in the glass. Now this is not a proper absinthe glass, but it's what I have right now. My others are in storage somewhere. Now you'll need some nice ice cold water. There is a such thing as an absinthe fountain. I happen to not have one because they're probably quite expensive. So anything with a pouring spout will do. Next you have a slotted spoon and a sugar cube. Go ahead and put that right up top on the rim. It'll fit there. And now pour the ice water slowly over the sugar cube so it will dissolve into the rest of the drink, like so. Just get a nice, normal, slow drip going. Now all my sugar has dissolved. Look at this beauty. Give it a nice little stir. Now then, let's enjoy our absence, shall we? It's for sipping, not gulping, or shooting. Salut. Now, if you don't like the taste of licorice, I do not suggest this beverage for you. Probably not gonna like it. True story. Sorry. All right, and now to move on to Death in the Afternoon, one of Ernest Hemingway's favorite drinks. Really simple. I am already feeling the drink before, so this is making this video even more fun. Quite simply, add the absinthe to the champagne flute. Nice. And add champagne. A couple of fun facts for you is... I almost shot this video about a week ago, and then I realized I didn't really have very much money for something good. And while I don't want to get an expensive bottle of champagne, because that's a waste if you're going to throw something else in it, um, I also have standards. I'm only moderately snobby when it comes to champagne. Fun fact about Corbel that I have here 
is it is actually one of the few non-France labels that can call itself Champagne. Technically, it has to go by California Champagne, but the grapes came from the Champagne region, and they came from there so long ago that they sort of got grandfathered in. Now, I figure there's about three ways to open the bottle. This is the pro tip bonus. You can savor it if you want to look like an extravagant person. You can pop it or shake it and pop it like you're at New Year's Eve or something. Or, like I learned in a restaurant, a nun farting. Ready? We're gonna do the nun farting. Et voila. And for one of the easiest parts, add the champagne. Honestly, this drink looks like it's just, it is trouble. I, it's probably rightly named Death in the Afternoon. I'm not sure. I've never tried it, so we're going to find out if I like it or not. Now that's interesting. I really can't describe what that is. It's... This is probably the best descriptor I can give you. It sort of tastes like you have squirt soda, or like fresca that's been sitting for a little while, and someone dropped some of those good and plenty little licorice candies in there, and they didn't stay in there too long. You got them out in time, but there's still a slight lingering taste at the end. I recommend you try this, just be responsible about it, as always with any alcohol. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Number two, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. There will be a little red subscribe button somewhere down there. Or you can just search for Sonoma Nate, one word, in the YouTube description. Or you can click down, right down there, where my face is. A little arrow that says subscribe, and there's just my face down there. I'm gonna go drink some water and sober up because I have work in the morning. Please have a great evening.